Hello, this is David Dean, and this is going to be my second tips video. Um, I always try to get out, give out good information when I'm doing all my other videos, but I really wanted to focus on this video. I keep getting constantly people asking me about my resources, and basically them wanting my resources. Um, how do I have... Um, what is it? Um, 608 malachite ore and now I even have 157 obsidian and 148 shadow crystal and even two bright core ore. I have only been in Twine Peaks one time to help somebody with a mission and that's where I got the bright core. Um, the rest of this I have gotten and the thing is I never farm for any ore or crystal. I um, get into a mission all the time and I'll be trying to figure out where people are because I'll run to the objective to start building and I'll look on the big map and I see them running around the four corners of the map looking at the um, basically the spawn point of the rare metals and crystals to try to get those materials and yeah they are there sometimes but to me, I discovered the effort to run around and do that and the amount of time wasted ended up just not being worth it. You did not gain enough ore and crystals as you would from other means in the game. And the other thing is, I also noticed when I would do that, that's also a spawn point for mobs. A lot of times I was using up my weapons to get crystal and ore to build weapons so that I could farm crystal and ore. And I was on the downside of that cycle where I was losing more than I was gaining. So um, certain ways I learned to get all the ore and crystal you want to the point it's just kind of ridiculous and wasteful. Um, um, first of all, I got four of them. I'm going to go through here. I'm actually going to do the most important one last. Um, we're going to head out of the mission to show you that one. But first of all, the storm chest. The storm sh chest shows up on your screen with that little blue symbol. Um, here I am down in the bottom corner. You can see it. It kind of looks like a uh, crossbones. And on this, this thing is awesome. This gives you the best treasure you're going to find in the game. I know a lot of people also will run around breaking open roofs or going from atop apartment buildings the skyscrapers and stuff looking for treasure chests. I did that for a little while too. Once again, I ended up, it just was me spending way too much time and getting too little out of it. But storm chests, I'm pretty much always happy when I do a storm chest. It says right on it, it is a group activity. You run over to the chest, you let everybody else in the zone, you really want all four people because this thing will actually spawn two treasures if you're successful. So you want to make sure you get everybody over to do it. Also, if you do the storm chest without telling people you're doing it, they get really upset really fast. And um, you're going to lose out on people that could be your friends who will help you in future missions. So the storm chest right off the bat is a great way to do it. And now I'm going to head over to my second way that I end up getting a whole bunch of it in missions. And also on the storm chest, um, I've noticed there's kind of an etiquette where some people run over there right away in the mission to do it. And most other people will just kind of blow them off until, like if you're in a build the radar mission, once three radars are done so that basically the mission is complete if somebody calls out storm chest people will run over and do it. Same thing with survivors. If you don't have six survivors saved yet, most a lot of times people won't do it. Once you have six survivors saved, then people run over and help out on the storm chest. So people usually want to focus on mission requirements first, and then they're more willing to band together to get the um, storm chest. And they're often... Ah, uh, great. We got to take her. This is going to be fun just because I got rid of my bar, which would be really nice to have. Actually, he is great to take out with that. Ah, uh, he went up. Ooh, 
Good shot. I am in a level 70 mission. I am level 55. And I gotta worry about that little guy coming up on me. Yeah, I saw you. Let's see, that recharge? See, I can't see if it recharged. And actually, this goes into what I'm gonna have as my third point, but we'll wait till there. But this is the other one, the towers, whether it is a tower mission or not. It says right on it, reward, or That's what that little brown thing is. It's the copper, but it's just a copper symbol. It can be any of the ores. So let's go ahead and see in this level 70 mission what I get for ore. And for building these towers, once you've done them a few times, you can build them extremely fast. There we go. So we got a bunch of metal, a bunch of stone, and we got four malachite ore. And this really bothers me in radar missions. Once again, if you go to the map in a radar mission, you will see people running around the corners trying to find ore. But if you do the mission and build the radar tower, you can get that stuff. And like here, this is a crystal one. And I think people get in the habit with the crystal ones at lower levels not doing them because you really don't need it that much at lower level because it's just crystal. But when you get higher level, that is the, um, do, do, ah, man. What do we got? Sorry. This is what I get for turning off certain sensors. And once again, you may be noticing I'm doing most of this without using the weapon, trying to use the grenade as much as possible and the shockwave and that's going to be my third one once we get done with this all right hopefully they didn't destroy anything they destroyed something let's see everything oh, i see it down here <laughs> go away all right to get the stair steps back ah there we go but yeah on this crystal one Let's get up here. Let's see what we got. And actually, normally I jump down with Shockwave, but I don't know if it's recharged yet. I don't want to take the chance. So what do we get here? There we go. We got some Shadow um, Shard, which is great. Oh, Shadow Shard Crystal. And if you're doing this with an Outlander, they have a base 6% bonus to double that. Um, so you, I would have got double what I got on both the, well, actually all of the rewards on there. There's a possibility. And there's even a perk you can put on there if you have um, an Outlander perk you can put in your support squad to get an additional 6%. Um, but that is the second way I get a ton of Malachite without farming. I just come over, do the radar tower, look up at the radar tower, and it tells me what it needs. Also a great way to get nuts and bolts. Um, uh, mineral powder, that's what I wanted, and parts, it, really easy. Same thing with encampments. Um, did we have an encampment to do? I knew there was somewhere, but we're not going to run over there. The encampments, they give you a bunch of resources, and all you have to do is run over them, put your um, little target thing right over it, and it will tell you what you can get and you're not wasting all that time and I'm talking about when you're just running through the zone going to the objective clearing out the area around the objective objective or if you're running around trying to get metal and stone grab that stuff at the same time and that is my second one do the radar towers do the encampments and focus on the mission and a lot of times that brings it right back the third one, and I've talked about this a lot before. Use your abilities. I see people just firing off their weapons like crazy and not using your abilities. And then complaining that they don't have enough materials to do what they need um, to build the weapons. Learn how to use your abilities so you don't have to waste all your resources. And yeah, you have to be a little pa more patient with it but it saves you so much time in farming and then once you get them down a ways take out what you have to do good headshots and it is all over so yeah use your weapon to me i always use my weapon last i always use my abilities first and if you notice 
when I'm building. I do trap tunnels and I will see. <laughs> I love it because I'll build a long trap tunnel. Great. Nothing's going to get through there. I start the mission or no, um, activate the objective and then suddenly everybody jumps in front of my trap tunnel and just start shooting like crazy using up their weapons and I stand in the back. If anything gets through my trap tunnel then I shoot it with my weapon. And <laughs> once again, just saving tons of materials on the real rare things. Because what you need for traps is pretty easy to get in the game. You also see a lot of my trap tunnels are made of wood or um, stone, which I have tons of extra um, using the little um, drop box as a gadget makes it so you can keep building those traps all the time so you're not eating up your weapon parts. But that is my number two reason I have so much ore and shadow shard or crystal and then actually hopping out of the mission here. <clears throat> the other thing you will notice on my missions when I run them, usually when the mission's complete and it shows the rewards, I have an extremely high build. Um, number, same thing with utility, and sometimes with the combat. It depends how much people are jumping out in front of my tunnels and that. But when you do the missions intentionally, like this mission, I saw it had Shadow Shard Crystal today. And I was getting ready to build for my Storm Shield defense and needed um, nuts and bolts and metal. Great. Jump in the mission. <laughs> and do as much as I can in it, killing as many mobs as I can with my grenades and shockwave and dropping that blue box to get more materials all the time. And then at the end, I finish with a great score and the better you get on your score, the higher level treasure chest, the more materials you're gonna get, the more XP, the more shadow shard crystals. So really on missions, and there's a ton of missions out here that have to do of course i say that and now i'm not fine there we go we got malachite in that one we got malachite in that one just do the mission and be really active in the mission the more you build the more ore and crystal you get at the end of the mission and rewards same thing with xp the more mobs you take out more you're going to get the more you um, utility score the more you're going to get so to me from my experience in the game having gone all the way through it one time and now going through a second time with a no cash account even at level 55 running level 70 missions i have no problem getting the malachite or i have no problem getting the shadow shard crystal as you've already seen or obsidian by mainly focusing on doing the mission i don't farm. I don't run around to the corners to gather. I run straight to the objective. I clear out the area. I build it up. And if people are ready to go when I'm done, great. If they're not ready to go, then I start gathering whatever materials I need. Also, while I'm going around hitting the encampments, hitting the build the radar towers, um, saving survivors, that is what is giving me so much malachite and other materials. It just works great. And unfortunately, when you go out there and search YouTube on how to get malachite, all they do is show you where it's located in caves and stuff. Once again, even if you do find it in the cave, you're only getting one or two pieces of it. So... Um, and the towers, obviously, I was doing better than that. So that's my advice to you on how to get more of this. Um, if the que I know the question is going to come. Hey, why don't you just give me all of yours since you have so much? And I get that a lot. No, I'm going to do actually a huge giveaway once I get monetized. I'm going to craft tons of weapons and give them out free to um, my subscribers. I'm just waiting to get monetized. So I am hoarding my ore and crystals until that happens, and hopefully it'll happen soon. So thank you for being great subscribers. Thank you for watching this, and have a great day.